Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I will show you the top features on Samsung Galaxy Watch, which covers most of Watch 4, 5, and 6 series based on One UI 5 latest watch update. So let's jump into the video. And the first one, here in app section, you can create separate app folders. Like here for sample, I created a folder. You can be able to customize the folder color. Just simply give a name to it. In the same way, you can create others folder for your social apps or others. And the next one. To improve your typing experience, just simply go to keyboard settings. Enable swipe to type option. And here we go. We can easily type as fast as possible. And the next one. You can customize watch buttons. Simply go to Settings, Advanced Features, select Customize Buttons. You can customize in it a way you want. Like you can add app functions, power button for power menu, or as assistant button. Here I added press and hold power as voice recorder. Like in same way you can add any app, back button hold as Samsung Pay. Or if you want assistant button, you can... Coming to security and privacy features. Here the lock system is as usual. Here there is option called wrist detection. It allows notifications and other features to know when you are wearing your watch. And other one, disable this thing, send diagnostic data, and stay safe. Now in the health section. Here you can enable heart rate settings like if you want it to measure continuously. Set high-low heart rates so that you can get notified. You can same also enable continuous measure of stress and also sleep, which uses blood oxygen data. But remember, enabling these options will drain battery faster. Depends if you focus more on your health. You can also set activities to auto detect like running, walking and others get measured. Also set your own custom time to measure your health based on days and time. In the sound and vibration settings, go to system sounds. Enable ticking sound. You will hear ticking sound and clock face. Just simply choose analog clock face. That's it, you will hear it. And the next one, you set wireless power share on phone so that you can wirelessly charge your watch. Next one, enable Google Assistant. You can also, you use hands-free commands, which works better than Bixby, in my hey, opinion. Harsha, how can I help? Tell me a joke. Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? It's too tired. Open Play Store. Opening Google Play Store. Next one, most people already know about it. But for those who are new to this Galaxy ecosystem, this will help you. Simply you can try music apps like Spotify, YouTube Music, and others available on store. Coming to some apps like Gmail. You can directly hear reply to mails, read full-size mails easily. Also, you can use WhatsApp or other social apps too. And coming to browser, finally they added a dedicated option, Zoom Mode. As it's a circular display, this will help you in most of cases to view complete page. And in accessibility settings, just go to visibility enhancements. Just enable remove animations and UI blur to improve performance of watch. Here there is an option of magnification, where you can zoom things on watch screen. And the next, go to advanced features, status indicators, choose hide option. If you want to hide this thing on watch face, and the next one, go to device care. Here in memory option, you can clear background running apps,
In battery settings, you can see the battery usage by apps. Power saving option, which limits power usage. Enable watch only mode to maximize battery life to like more than 20 days. And the next one, you can add battery tile widget of multiple devices in shortcut screen. Also the Galaxy Buds panel. The next one I like the most. Go to accessibility settings, go to interaction and dexterity. And enable universal gestures. Customize your own gestures the way you want to launch like apps or other gestures. I will show you the demo. Here, as you can see, I'm using finger gestures to control the screen. You can also enable action menu where they added new additional gestures like cursor control. Usually works well and works like a magic. I will show you the demo. And also, one more thing, in advanced features, you can use gestures to answer calls, dismiss alerts and calls and quick lash of things on it. Here I will show you the demo. And the final one. In advanced features, enable disconnection alerts like if your phone gets disconnected with your watch, or if the phone gets stolen, you can get alert, or you can track via maps. Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you like it. Also, subscribe to our channel for more stuff. Thanks for watching.